Hey guys, Stanbrix, and guys, some exciting news right here. We got a bunch of Godzilla X Kong toys released today. We got some new images, some new products, very exciting. Um, the thing is, today is the release of the new film. I'm so excited to see it. I'm still a little bit nervous, to be honest, because I'm a little bit um, kind of scared because in Godzilla vs. Kong, I did enjoy the film, but there were some moments in the film with the side characters I really did not like. Um, but I'm just really hoping in this one, um, they don't maybe focus on too much of the characters, but then again, they got to give something for, of course, the side characters. Uh, hopefully, Hopefully it's just not too ridiculous. I guess we'll wait and see. I'm just hoping the fights are great. I'm just really hoping this is an entertaining film. I'm really hoping it is. But can't wait to see it. Uh, let me know down below if you guys are going to watch this film today or tomorrow or most likely in the weekend. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to see it today and most likely again tomorrow with a friend or something. Um, but I can't wait to see it. But now let's talk about the new merchandise right here. We got quite a bit um, right here. The first one, we got this image that I did not see. Um, to be honest, I have not seen too many people talk about it. Um, it was this image right here showing off the Godzilla. Uh, 24 inch figure and wow this thing right here looks incredible and right there you can see with the giant figure right there of the of course normal one you find at Walmart and there's the regular of all figure and we have the mini fig one and we also have the blind um, boxes one right there and you can see got right there um, Titan Evolution Godzilla with the suit right there so looks really cool I can't wait to see this in stores hopefully it does come out pretty soon um, like I did said on my last video talking about the um, Battle Roar Shimo and everything those are most likely released in fall so most likely same thing as this big figure as of right now that's not confirmed um, but most likely that will be the release for those or maybe during the summer uh, but so far I can't wait to find those 24 inch figures hopefully pretty soon they look amazing so far for the Godzilla and we did talk about Kong a little while ago but that's right there the first picture um, the second item right here is actually a big surprise I'm actually a big collector of 4ks and of course blu-rays and all that i started to get into it a lot this year so um this is actually really exciting we got our first look of the steelbook 4k of it right here actually it's not too bad i would say maybe they could have done a little bit better on the back instead of suko i kind of wish it was like shimo and scar king too uh but still not a bad 4k steelbook right here i love the inside you can see godzilla roaring that famous shot in the trailer still looks pretty cool in the front right here is kong with the beast glove and godzilla evolved uh pretty good right here this is going to be a walmart exclusive because the steel books don't sell right there at Best Buy no more. So this is going to be available at, at, of course, Walmart. As of right now, we have no date. Uh, so far, this is the only image we do have right here. And for price point, it's going to be around $34.99. And if I do enjoy the film, I'm most likely definitely pick this up right here. Uh, so far, not a bad 4K release. I'm really hoping uh, they do one for Godzilla Minus One. I think there was one image of one, but the thing I did hear was fake. Uh, so I don't know if Godzilla Minus One will also get one, but I'm still shocked that right there that got leaked uh, for the 4K steel book for Godzilla X Kong and this image right here actually if I got to talk about it a little while ago uh, was these Bandai figures right here of the Godzilla X Kong of course line right here of Scar King Shimo uh, Godzilla and of course Kong but these are actually the prototypes of these uh, so far they look pretty cool uh, but I'm pretty sure with this line they're very expensive um, I think last time I think I did talk about them was the Godzilla uh, singular point and they were just really pricey uh, but still they look pretty cool again these are prototypes most likely in the coming up uh, weeks we'll probably get some more updates on these and most likely pictures uh, but so far not too bad right there we, they also did show off some other Godzilla stuff uh, from of course different movies and like that uh, but the Godzilla X Kong ones really of course uh, shocked me how cool these look to be honest Shimo actually looks really cool and Scar King is not that bad either so that's pretty cool right there and this right here is a big surprise finally we got our first look of one of the Spiral Studios uh, Godzilla figures here is this one right here this one's a 27 centimeter that's around 10 inches um, this one looks pretty cool the thing is, I don't know why I'm kind of confused because there's this one image of them showing off their tees of their line and this one. I can't tell if it's the same figure. I want to say they're not, but then again, I could be wrong. Uh, I know we're definitely going to get more from this line, most likely a bigger figure, like the course of regular 20 inch ones. I could definitely say that in the future, but so far for the first one, it's not too bad. Um, this actually right here is going to retail for $189. Um, seems kind of high, I'm not going to lie, uh, for only being around 10 inches tall, uh, but still, it does look really cool. The detail looks nice um the dorsal fins don't look too bad maybe a little bit too plasticky looking in my opinion but i would just say the paint the paint detail on the of course the figure itself looks amazing um here's actually a really cool picture of a person holding it up um looks great 
probably the best figure so far for detail wise and sculpting uh for right here from spiral studios hopefully we do get some more updates uh pretty soon for more characters um they did tease uh shima a little while ago i'm excited to see that i'm very curious to see if it's gonna be the same scale in this one or more bigger size uh but i guess we'll wait and see for that but this right here is gonna be available pre-order on the 29th tomorrow and it's gonna be releasing on august uh 2024 and that's actually kind of shocking uh how fast it's gonna actually gonna be releasing i'm actually very shocked by that but still pretty excited right here from spiral studios like I said, I'm really hoping we do get some more stuff pretty soon from them. Uh, most likely coming up pretty soon, uh, hopefully. But that's right there, of course, from Spyro Studios. The last items right here are from Mondo. Um, these are nothing too crazy, but I would say these do look cool. Um, the thing is, I'm going to say I do not recommend buying these. These are overpriced, in my opinion. They look great, um, but they're definitely overpriced. These are just vinyl figures, like retro kind of looking figures. Um, they look really cool. Um, this right here, this Godzilla is going to be around 10 inches tall right here for $190. It's kind of funny comparing this price point to, uh, of course, the Spyro Studios. You can see right there the price difference uh, compared to like something like that more detail compared to this on uh, this post will look like kind of like i don't know you call this kind of like uh figures like these but of course soft final i guess um but these are of course very interesting looking um they're really cool to be honest i would agree that you do look really nice i actually do like how they look especially uh next to each other the kong and godzilla pretty cool image right here showing them off next to each other uh it's just definitely overpriced uh and for some reason godzilla's already sold out it's kind of shocking to be honest uh right here for the kong same price point uh, but this version right here does come with with the beast glove and the axe so it's actually pretty cool right there same price point um height same thing right here around 10 inches um that's actually still available right now but i would recommend not getting these they're just technically overpriced in my opinion they're not crazy of course detail and the, of course the scale for these are not too crazy compared to other stuff right here um this right here is supposed to be releasing november 2024 shipping and same thing for uh right here the other godzilla one so kind of interesting but kind of cool i think to be honest these should have been way cheaper um I think I did see there was some detail about the weight right here. Um, I think that, yeah, the weight right here is only like four uh, pounds right there. So it's not even that heavy. It's not, of course, crazy detail. Uh, Godzilla looks like right here is actually limited to 400. Let me see Kong right here. Uh, same thing right there, 400. It makes more sense. Godzilla probably sells out more. But still pretty cool, but disappointing with the price points right here from Mondo. I don't know if we're going to get any more from them. I don't know, to be honest. I guess we'll wait and see. I'm mean, actually kind of curious to see if Super 7 is going to do anything with Godzilla uh, or X Kong. So far, what I see. I don't they do anything with the monster verse yet, uh, but still pretty cool right here uh, from the of course other companies right here showing off some of their figures we got a look of the steel book a really good image of the playmates godzilla so pretty excited right here so mostly still gonna get quite a bit more stuff releasing any day now especially from high toys and like that hopefully pretty soon i still been waiting uh but still pretty excited right here guys but tell me down below your thoughts right here guys of these figures and out of the ones i talked about which ones your favorites but yeah but pretty excited right here guys for the film just in a couple hours uh everybody gets to see it very exciting guys again tell me down below uh when you guys gonna see it and you guys are very excited for it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.